Maui Tree Plant. S A P A W E. Oh, hi. It was. I thought you were. I thought you were uh, writing it down. I was waiting in it. Um, so Maui Tree Plant. Can't remember the year. Um, there was a forest fire on Vermilion River Road. Not Vermilion River, but it was Sapawi Road, I guess. And we Where is that? North of Geraldton and north of Nakina. Way in the bush. Probably halfway between Nakina and Pickle Lake. Okay. Right. Well, that's kind of interesting because my story is about Waltz and Pickle Lake. <laughs> right in the bush. Like, we, there was no building permanent building for at least 70 kilometers from us unless maybe there was a chopper's camp somewhere but we were isolated and the, we were at kilometer 150 160 and at kilometer 70 80 there was a fire going across the road so we had no evacuation route if anything happened so before the fire went across the road they evacuated everybody and I stayed up so keep camp down watch everything and gather up stuff and keep, keep uh, the food going because uh, the freezers, if they went, they would have uh, would have spoiled all the food. So I was up there by myself, working during the day, and then uh, at night, not very much. Eating, what have you? Drinking a couple beers. So I I had a bottle of wine and I was drinking a couple bottles of glasses of wine. And uh, walk outside, it was so hot, I was just buck naked outside. I just went out into the night. I loved it up there. When you shut off the lights, there was nothing. It was just stars and it was beautiful. So I quite regularly shut off the lights and look at everything. And it was, uh, it went kind of to the edge and was taking a pee. And something glowing something different and it was uh in the light it was looking at me and I was looking at it it was the eyes shining at me and then I kind of in the starlight and whatever moon I, there was I got the silhouette and it was a big wolf and I'm like holy shit you don't feel now this is funny because the two times I've really had encounters with wolves I've been naked you don't feel it's, it's the most vulnerable you can feel, really. Like, it's scary, there's nothing there. But he was just looking at me and didn't really move at all. And I just slowly crept back to the, to the camper and turned on lights and got my clothes on and you know, would have shit my pants if I would have been wearing anything. 